Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, let's go through some important questions around WebDriver protocol. Now let's see the very first question. What browsers are supported by the WebDriver protocol in UiPath? This one we have discussed. Options A, Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer. B, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge browser, D, Microsoft Edge, Safari O. Now tell me which one is the right answer. Pause this video and start commenting your answer in the comment section of the video. All right. I hope you got the answer. The answer for this question is C, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge browser at the moment of recording this video. Now moving on to the second question. What is a characteristics feature of the WebDriver protocol in UiPath? Options are requires manual installation of corresponding browser extensions, operates exclusively in a headless mode for all browser automations, C generates different selectors compared with UiPath browser extension. Option D supports both headless and visual browser automations without relying in browser extension. Now out of all this, which is the right answer about a web driver protocol? Now pause this video, comment your answer. All right, I hope you have commented the answer. So let me reveal the answer for this question. The answer is D, supports both headless and visual browser automations without relying on browser extensions. So the answer is here in this advanced UI automation WebDriver protocol. Okay, so here, although the WebDriver protocol can be used for both headless and visual browser automation, it is not meant to replace. So this is the, this is the line which has created the question for you. Now let's move on to our next question. This question might be slightly tricky. Look at the question. A developer is utilizing the Edge WebDriver protocol. What is using? The Edge WebDriver protocol for an automation project. While employing the use application browser activity, so this is the use application browser activity, which property adjustment enables the execution of automation in the background utilizing the web driver protocol. So it is very specific about two terms. The important term is background. The automation should run in the background using the web driver protocol. Now here the options are web driver mode headless. So here if you go to the use um, application browser activity, there's a property called web driver mode and these are the three options for you. So are you going to go with web driver mode headless? Are you going to go with web driver mode with GUI? Input mode simulate. If you see, there's also input method called simulate. Are you going with the simulate option? Or will you go with input mode background? So which is the right option based on the context of this question? So please pause this video and start commenting your answer. All right. I hope you have commented the answer. So the right answer for this question is web driver mode headless. So headless is all about background automation. So here you find the proof documentation proof in UiPath platform. The web driver protocol introduces support for headless browser automations. This means that the browser automations don't necessarily have to rely on visual elements on the screen such as window frames automations are executed in the background automations are executed in the background so headless is the answer i hope you have enjoyed these questions and you have commented correct answers for all of these questions so great let's move on to our next topic